BCG vaccine. Can this tuberculosis vaccine protect people from COVID-19? A very old vaccine for an infectious disease is scheduled in clinical trials for COVID-19. It is the Bacillus calmet-gayran vaccine used for tuberculosis. This drug is set in the BRACE International study due to earlier findings. According to BBC, the death rates from respiratory infections were lower in those vaccinated compared to unvaccinated populations. This might be explained by the vaccine's effects on the immune system. Professor John Campbell of the University of Exeter Medical School said, BCG has been shown to boost immunity in a generalized way, which may offer some protection against COVID-19. Research suggests that boosted innate immunity can effectively fight the coronavirus. While it may not completely stop the infection, the boosted state can prevent symptoms from becoming serious. The milder the symptoms are, the less likely a patient will end up in a critical state. So aiming for better innate immunity in people may buy the world time until a COVID-19 vaccine is available. Furthermore, past studies on the BCG vaccine found several associations. In South Africa, the vaccine was connected to a 73% reduction in infections in the nose, throat, and lungs. In Guinea-Bissau, the vaccine was correlated to a 38% death rate reduction among newborns. The reduction was mostly in pneumonia and sepsis cases. In the Netherlands, the vaccine was associated with lower levels of yellow fever virus in the body. Experts believe that the protection offered by the BCG vaccine is not specific to COVID-19. Instead, the vaccine induces an immune response to a respiratory pathogen. This changes the immune system at a system-wide level. The change likely empowers innate immune responses to different respiratory infections. The boost makes first responders more capable of handling SARS-CoV-2, at least, before antibodies become available. Reuters reported that the University of Exeter will conduct BCG vaccine jabs in a clinical trial. The trial will involve 1,000 participants who work in community healthcare and care homes. Those participants represent the UK site. But the entire study is composed of several clinical trials involving 10,000 people in various countries including Australia, Brazil, Spain, and the Netherlands. A paper in The Lancet, co-authored by Tedros Ghebreyesus, the WHO Director General noted that the vaccine is only allowed to be used for COVID-19 in randomized controlled trials. It is not yet an approved preventive or therapeutic measure against the disease.